big statement. We've got questions in the room. There's questions on Zoom. Uh, yeah, good team win. Josh Hartle, um, you know, kind of shaky early. First couple innings didn't have his his best stuff. You know, starts the game kind of with a hit batter and a walk and gives up one in the first. But I thought he got stronger as the game went on. I really liked the way he was throwing the ball there in the fifth, sixth, and seventh innings. So happy about that. Um, Tommy Hawk uh, on base all day today. Had a really great day. Obviously, Brock, uh, big two-out RBI for Brock, and then the solo homer for Brock. So, Good day for Brock, um, you know, played played clean defense today. So that's always a good thing. And, you know, it's a good win. And now we've got five games on the road. So, um, you know, we've got a tough schedule coming up at Coastal, three at Duke, and then at Liberty. So um, we'll have to have to play our best baseball the, of the year this week. So we're looking forward to it. Uh, you talk about Tommy being on base all day, you know, all day long. How does – how does that really help jumpstart what you're trying to do offensively? You see Tommy you know, take those pitches, get on base one way or the other. And it seems like it's a wide variety of ways he can get going for you. Yeah, for sure. And, uh, you know, anytime he's on base in front of, you know, today it was Reinish in the two hole. Usually it's Pierce Bennett decided to give Pierce a day off today. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't anything other than just wanted to get Chris Katz in there for some at bats. But, um, but anytime he's on base, we're going to score runs. I mean, because we've just got those guys coming in behind him. And uh, so I was really pleased, um, you know, that, again, like you said, multitude of ways, you know, hit the ball the other way a few times, walked a couple times, and uh, just had good at-bats all day. It seems like after the first three batters, you guys went out and talked to Josh. What was kind of the message y'all gave him? Because he seemed, he seemed to settle in. You know, it seemed like earlier to me that they just settled in. Did it seem like to you? Did it seem like he settled in and got, got a group after that? Yeah, I mean, Moose went out there and just said, hey, get a ground ball. You know, again, you, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, pitcher's best friend is a double play ball. And Josh throws a lot of sinkers and cutters. And, you know, those are two really high ground ball pitches. Um, so Moose was like, just, hey, just stick to the plan here. Get us a ground ball. And it uh, it kicked off his glove and unfortunately kind of bounced right to Danny and got a double play and, and got in the dugout. Because if that ball gets through, then who knows? It seems like that play could have gone askew many different ways, but your 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 defense stuck with it and got that double play. Is that kind of symptomatic of where you're at from a defensive standpoint with this team this season? You got to be happy with how they're performing in the field. Yeah, really happy. I mean, I think we've got four errors on the year. Um, you know, again, was, as we've talked, two of which are catchers' interferences. So, you know, really pleased with our you know with our team defense so far. And. Um, you know, again, on the turf, you should feel pretty well. Um, but uh, but we've we've made the plays we should make. Lucas Costello, how long do you expect? Him to be? He'll be he'll be back on Tuesday. It's just he was in concussion protocol, and uh, so we'll have him we'll have him on Tuesday for Coast. For all the attention that your big offense gets, the little things are showing up. You know, I thought that uh, Houston zero for one game last night was a great game. Uh, today, get a runner over to get him to third base to get that run in. You know, all the little things, um, Kirk is trying to look into the bunt because the third baseman's back to set up a situation. Is that a conscious effort by you, by them? Are they recognizing situations more? I think they're recognizing situations more, but it's certainly something we talk about a lot. Billy Salento does a great job with those guys and Matt Wessinger about playing small ball and, and doing the little things right. Uh, but to your point yesterday, I thought Merrick's at-bats were really good. You know, walked twice and then, and then sack punted a guy over. Today hits the ground ball to, saved to, to first, saved a run defensively on the on the diving stop. So so yeah, it's the and base running too. Like in the first inning, you know Kurt stops. Um, you know if he tries to go to second there and gets thrown out, it changes that whole first inning. But he stopped. You know made a good team decision there with nobody out. Stops and you know we go on to score four runs. You know so can't run into outs on the bases. So it's it's base running also. And that's the kind of thing that over 56 games shows up more than just over a real short series sometimes. Well, for sure. And then another player in the game, you know, Tommy Hawk cuts off that ball and then we get a double play kind of right in behind that. You know, if he doesn't if he doesn't cut that ball off and keep that guy to a single, then that guy probably moves up to third and they get a run. Um, whereas, you know, instead it's two outs and nobody on. You know, big difference. You know, let's talk about the little things that Larry mentioned. It's, you know, I've heard you talk about Three nineties all the time, and I saw Ben at least steal a base, and then he also advanced on the wild ball pitch. It's like all your guys are taking those three nineties when they get the chance, right? For sure, yeah, something we work on a lot. Um, you know, a couple times a week, and and on the on the defensive side of it, you know, outs after free nineties. You know that we get outs after we give up free nineties, whether it's via walk, hit batter, 
you know, or, or error, you know, you, you pitchers, you know, we talk all the time about picking each other up. We're going to have walks, but we can't compound it with an error. We're going to have errors, but we can't compound those with walks. And then, you know, on the offensive side, it's a matter of taking advantage of the three nineties, which we've done a good job of so far this year. My school will start. I, I don't think it'll be a long start because we will have a fresh bullpen. So, you know, maybe, maybe a time and a half through the order, maybe two times through the order, but it won't be, it won't be more than that. Cause we'll have Keener, Massey, Manasi, you know, Ray, Ariola, Crum, you know, we'll have all those guys kind of fresh and ready to go. As this non-conference part of the season comes to a close, aside from the good weeks, what did you get out of these 13 games? What, what, did, what is it you think you learned about your team as you head into the conference power to play uh, the first? Yeah, I, I learned, we learned that, you know, we have good starting pitching. Our starting pitching has been really kind of, you know, we've gotten a quality start every game. Um, you know, I guess if you had one that you would say wasn't, I mean, Muscola went four and two thirds against against Wilmington, but, you know, left with the lead and and did a good job. So I, I'd say we're, you know, kind of 13 for 13 on quality starts. Um, defense, obviously, is right up there. And, you know, I like that we can beat you in different ways. You know, we can, we don't have to, you know, we're not home run reliant. We can beat you. We can grind at bats when we need to as well. So, you know, again, I, I like where we are right now. We're, you know, other than McGraw and Wade, we're, you know, we're relatively healthy. So, you know, hopefully it stays that way. I'm Zoom.